Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on some of my recent homemade weapons and similar sort of items uh, that I've been making over the last, around about a year. So I just thought I'd show you them because some people may not have seen all of these items. All of these items, m most of them, I think, as you know, all of them have got um, tutorials and demos on them. So, if they've not got a demo, they've definitely got a tutorial. So, I'll just get straight down to it. So, one of the ones I made recently was what I call my machete bowie. So, this is a bowie, 10 inch bladed bowie knife, but 14 and a half inches overall. Kydex sheath. And it was made from a machete blade. That's why I call it my machete bowie. Uh, it was a snapped off... Machete blade, basically a tramatina machete blade, <clears throat> which I reshaped, put an aluminium guard on, oak handles, and then recently I did this um, mustard etching for last year and my WC initials for um, the channel. So yeah, very nice knife that. I'm really happy with that. All of these items, I'll show you a little demo of them as I'm. Uh, Talking about them, yeah, but I've always liked that, and I'm I'll definitely do more of them. Uh, Kydex sheath, as well as I mentioned, um, yeah, machete belly. So, this here is a tactical pen neck sheath so you would wear this you'd have it a bit shorter than that but you'd wear it on your neck about like that and it is a um, holder for a tactical pen made from PVC pipes basically hold it on your neck very secure yeah good little thing that is if you want to conceal a Tactical pen instead of wearing it in your pocket, you can wear this under your top. People won't be able to see it then, but still perfectly legal. That does hold it in. So, I could now tidy this up a bit and we'll see what it looks like. Here is a dagger that I made recently. I didn't make the sheath for this, or the blade saying that, but I, um, I put this together made the guard, made the handle and all that and there's a tutorial for that as well yeah I was very happy with that, very nice may have changed the pommel at some point it's got a nice skull crusher pommel very nice dagger blade very similar to a fair barn type fighting knife and that was made recently right so this is where I am now handle is on, guards on piece of black material there which is kydex aluminium at the bottom the skull crusher pommel here is a coin holder sap type thing so it's a leather pouch basically that you hold coins but can work as a self-defense item if needed but essentially it is just a pouch for carrying money so no, no real legal issues with that as long as you just say it is coin pouch. Yeah, and that is literally just full of a bag full of coins. So I think it's got two bags worth in it. So, bag full of five peas, a bag full of pennies. And you just basically just squeeze it until you hear a click and then it cuts the holes. And then that's for your drawstring. Here is a little UK legal knife that I modded recently. This had no scales on it and the blade was too long. So what I've done to it, ground the blade down to make it legal carry. So this is exactly the length that you need it. And using the same process you do for Kydex, I made the scales for this. Yeah, quite a nice little knife now. Yeah, that would be legal to carry in the UK without any excuse. So, there's that. So, what I'll do now then, as I mentioned, I will cut around this edge with something. 
Um, yeah, sand it and glue those on. So throwing knives I made recently, decided to make a nice set of free throwing knives. These are good for no spin or half spin or full spin. Just mild steel shaped into the shape there. And um, yeah, very cheap to make, easy to make, don't take long. Decent bit of weight though, you want a bit of weight in your knives, your throwing knives. But yeah, and probably only took two or three hours to make. So there's those. Here's a larger one I made a bit longer ago. Same thing, mild steel, but much more tapered point to it. This is a good thrower. I want to make more of these. I might make a whole set of these, but with thicker metal. I wouldn't mind doing this in something like six mil. Again, can be done in all the manner of um, ways you can throw a throwing knife. Here are the walking sticks I made recently. The first one is based on the, I'm not sure if it's cold steel or it's just in the cold steel catalog. There's a thing called the Australian walkabout walking stick, I think it's called. Big thing like this, very thick. My one, I'd call it my heavy duty walking stick. But this is a big walking stick, as you can see. But, um, you know, it works as a walking stick. Made from hardwood, just varnished, but very thick, and very formidable self-defense item if you need it due to its size. It's got a sort of knob end on it, I think they call it, ball end. But yeah, very thick, but really would do the job. And it's similar to the one I saw in the catalogue. Uh, it's got a lanyard on it as well. This one is one I made literally about two days ago. Hazel shaft of a different wood. I'm not sure what the wood is for the, the knob end, the ball end, and a plumbing fit in there. Yeah, very happy with that. Perfect size for me. And it's a more gentleman style walking stick. This one looks like something you would have hiking about, I think. This one's more of a gentlemen's you know you could take this into a restaurant or something like that and it wouldn't look out of place so it'll just be shaping this now for that so next I've got my D guard short sword that I made recently so this is from a Pakistani sword that I cut down and modified was a completely different short sword at one point but it is now a short sword of an aluminium D guard solid aluminium handle with finger grooves very sharp blade and a wooden scabbard that I made myself as well I'll probably redo the colour of that I'll tell you why I did it red, because a lot of these, when you originally bought them, the Pakistani swords had red felt uh, scabbards. A couple of knives I made recently, or modded. So this one I took an existing blade, cleaned it up and did a brand new leather stacked handle on it. This didn't have a handle at all. So what I did here, I took a belt, cut it into pieces, made the handle, made the guard. These are Kydex inserts. It's not made a sheath for that 
yet but I'm going to next maybe in the next couple of weeks I'll make a sheaf for that I've got the bits ready for that Another knife I made from another offcut from a sword is this nice Tanto um, walnut handle, thick aluminium guard, Kydex chopping board, Kydex aluminium. Yeah, very happy with that actually. And this I recently found that I had the offcut of the sheath as well, the scabbard from the sword. So I'll be making a tutorial on how to make a scabbard for that soon. You'll see is the blade with the zip ties on the handle on and me grinding the handle down to shape to a rough shape. Right I should be able to start shaping this now and then lastly of my recent builds I would say recently I have made some spears as well but they're in the loft at the minute so I couldn't get them but yeah one of the most recent things I made, just before I made the, that walking stick, was this Warhammer. Really, really happy with this. I wanted a Warhammer for years, and I've been planning on making one for years. Uh, and then recently I saw a good rock hammer for sale on Amazon.com for around about $10, I think it was. So that's about 8 quid in, in UK money. Um, modified the striking surface there, modified the tip so it's a really nice sharp tip. Uh, took the handle off, mounted the hammer into a uh, metal shaft, riveted and bolted here and it's got a little sort of guard there and there, stop your hand slipping up and down. Yeah and this is, this really hits hard. Um, yeah, great thing. This is really happy with this and I can't wait to do more tests on it. Put that nail through and peen it over because it'll be a better finish then rather than a big nut over there. So yeah, that was my homemade items and weapons that I've made recently. If you like this kind of thing, you'll definitely like my channel because I do this kind of stuff about once a week now. Once a week I'll be making stuff and then another day during the week I'll probably be testing the stuff on my uh, weapon test dummy that I've made recently. So yeah, one thing I would say is um, if you do like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of it, there's an option to join Patreon if you wanted to or other things similar to that that um, they do fund these projects because without people doing the Patreon some of these items would not be able to be made because they do cost money to do and I don't have ads on my videos I've been completely demonetized so yeah if you ever if you like to look at this kind of stuff and you ever wanted to support them feel free to, to join for one dollar a month that still helps it all builds up so yeah I hope you enjoyed that there'll be plenty more coming up I've got loads of projects planned for the future and as I said at least once a week I should be making something all right hope you enjoyed the video see you later right, before you leave if you ever wanted to support this channel you can now via patreon or by shopping at amazon.com and gearburst there's more info below if you need that remember if you want to get full notifications for this channel click the bell and uh, I'll see you later cheers